What is up guys? It's your boy James, aka Triple J755. I'm here with Double D27821. And today we are at Hershey Park. Hershey Park happy. Hershey Park glad. So many things to see and do. Good times to be had. Just for the proof. Right there. Yeah, right right here. We actually yeah, right got a new angle of Candy Moe. This, this um, ride is called Hershey Park. This is that's Hershey Park. <laughs> okay. Oh, we're actually coming into Mike. This is a very fun amusement park in Mike, Pennsylvania. Yes, Mike, Pennsylvania. Even though Mike Pence is from Indiana. Don't worry about it. But in between Indiana and Mike, Pennsylvania is Obama, Ohio. <laughs> yeah. So, you might be wondering, why are we on this weird asphalt path thing? Well, well we actually uh, had to walk into the parking lot yeah. because we didn't actually drive here. True story. We flew here because it's a five hour drive. I thought we could save some time. It was, it was very expensive, but I thought it was okay. Yeah, true story. So, what I happened was we drove to, to the, the airport. airport, Westport International, by the way. We got, got on plane. We flew over Delaware, over Pennsylvania, and then we landed at Hubuk Intel. <laughs> yeah, I remember. It's called Hubuk Intel Airport. Oh, what the hell, my camera failed. Yes. Well, right, I got it. Right as you. we said it. Right as we said it, too. Yeah, and we had some fun. While we were walking here, we uh, got a, a bunch of road signs and we read them out literally. Like, yeah. woo.com. What was that? Visitpod.com. Visitpod.com. Uh, what I was saying earlier is we drove to the airport, we got on plane, we, we flew, flew over Delaware, Delaware, over Mike, Pennsylvania, and we landed at Hubuk Intel Airport. <laughs> you should see like a thing of Google Maps that explains that joke. So. Uh, the lines are a little bit long, but we're still very excited today. Yes. We've been panning this trip ever since last time, which is slightly more than... Why is it when we go to park for the second time, it's slightly more than here? Like Adventure yeah. Shit USA, Six Flag America, and now this. Yeah. Why? I don't know. It's some, it's some kind of... But I just want to mention something, like right now. Um... We were like, the weather is not on our side for like any. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we were trying to like, we were trying to find days to like try and get in here. So, we, we have to go up here. Yeah. Or maybe over here. I have no idea where to go. We were planning to come. There was like literally a tornado warning in this area. Yeah, and it was fine at home, but we had to look at the Hershey weather yeah. because it's a production now, coming here for us. It's a nice day. You know, we live in a terrible place for coaster enthusiasts. Yes, I I agree because like the nearest park. To Why do we have to drive like three hours every time we want to go somewhere? Yeah. At least. Exactly. And those are filled with tours from the west side, so I'm not yeah. there much. Yeah, I'd rather not do that. I, I might go there someday. 
Looping Star, though, was my first uh, coaster with inversion. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for your loss. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I'm here for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice shirt you got there. Oh, thanks. It says Candymonium. The world's Candymonium. Yeah. Wait, where, where is that ride? I don't know. I'm not sure. I just bought I this shirt one day. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know. know. Where is it? I don't know where where that is that ride? I have no I freaking know. clue. I don't know. Where, where is it? No, no freaking idea. clue. Okay, so we just got past the cutie. So now we're going to name every coaster in America. Coaster in America. In America. Okay, so let's go by state. We'll start with San Diego. We got a Paul's Chirrut, Medusa, Kraken, Intimidator. Pandemonium. So, what were you saying about uh, getting on it? Wait. I said we'll, we can just like go through this gate here. We can walk up as far as the And when it comes here, we really quickly jump on it. Just right click it. Easy. Yeah. Uh, exactly. I don't see any problems with that. No uh, problems. Why wait in line when you can just right click it? Everyone in line is an idiot. Especially you. I see no problems with this. I thought I was gonna roll back. That, Flight that, of Fear is so pretty. That's, that's if you're like wondering that. why we call Flight of Fear, let me show you. Derek, snap. <laughs> there you go. That's why we call it Flight of Fear. Now you're caught up with all the past history. Yes. History and culture. So important. Uh -huh. Yes. So uh, usually I don't the notice the speed of ops right unless they're significantly the fast or slow. But Derek noticed that they're saying a train more. like every 50 seconds on Storm Matter. So some, some, very good Storm like that. I'm about, very good I'm Storm Matter crew. You're setting those trains out like crazy. Oh, and those people it. notice that we were doing a vlog. I might time it. I don't know. Yeah, you, you make sure we're on that side of the ship so we can see it like that. That that would be great. So let's go. So we just got the drunken sailor. That's much better than the one at Six Flag America. And yes. we timed the ops on six. Wait. And six. <laughs> <laughs> and we timed the ops at six. Now it gets. <laughs> we timed the ops at six. Flag Wait. I wasn't even, I wasn't even trying to, oh my, what, wait, what was that airport called? The Hubuki The Hubuki. that's the funniest joke since Hubuki. what has that done to me? I need sleep. So we timed the ops on six, you might have seen it go, or also known as Flight of Fear. Store it's, if you're not a GP. If, it's six if you're me, it's Flight of Fear if you're Derek. It's, and uh, I got 135.37 in I between one, launches. I got 135.42. How we time it is that 5% difference in 5% of one second. Yeah, and how we measured second. it is that we, we started when the very front of the train gets to a very tippy top. And then wait until it did again. Thanks to a dual pulling loading station, uh, or maybe because they're rested from a year's break, they're killing it. They're they're doing well, man. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh. What? I thought of a really, really good idea. What? So I'm at 22 credits now, right? <gasps> 25! Go. Wait, 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 wait. 25. 25. <laughs> My 25th was Twisted Timbers. Maybe. Right here. Right here. Yep. And I'm wearing this and this. All That's you need is a candy money hat and we're Gucci. Did you know, Derek, that the Fahrenheit roller coaster located at Hershey Park in Mike, Pennsylvania does in fact have the steepest drop amongst all roller coasters. Your gravitational acceleration vector is behind the normal force vector. Then the first drop was absolutely amazing. 
It's hard to explain exactly how it felt, but basically, your gravitational acceleration vector is behind the normal force vector, but basically, 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 your gravitational acceleration vector is behind the normal force vector. So, we just got off Wild Mouse. It's our first coaster of the day. I rode this coaster back in 2014, but I don't remember. This, besides Wildcat, is the coaster that I've gone the longest without riding again. And, while on the ride, there are a couple notable things. First of all, over here, that piece of metal is meant to prevent uh, people from touching the track. But I, but I touched that metal thing, and you get some pretty, very cool views of the other coasters, like Fahrenheit, Lightning Racer, that you yeah. wouldn't be able to get otherwise. And um, I think there could be more padding on the sides, like yeah, uh, on the sure. turns, that it wasn't that comfortable, but uh, the dips were pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. The air, the airtime hill wasn't as strong as I was expecting, but it was like some decent floater. Yeah, it, it's, a, it's a fun ride, uh, I must say. And we did some mean streak break noises while we could. Yeah. Uh, I liked it a little bit more than I thought I did, but it, it's, it's not perfect. Well, yeah. almost no coaster is perfect, so that's fine. Yeah. It, it does its job well. Okay, what next? Dang, I'm not sure about you, but the chain lift noise of Lightning Racer is so loud. Can you hear that? Yeah, that's what actually, what it actually is. The Huawei's Express anti-rollbacks, not chain lift, but whatever. It's easier to say chain than anti-rollback, you know? I'm trying to keep things easy, man. All right, Derek and I just got off Lightning Racer, Lightning Side, it was a station weight, or depending on what row you want to sit on, walk on. Uh, it was a very good ride, Lightning Side. Thunder Side, last time I was here, neither of us had the credits, but I had Thunder Side. So I just thought by riding Thunder Side, we would get double the value for our time. But this time I rode Lightning Side, which I didn't have, but Derek did. And it was a very good ride. We uh, sang, uh, we. Freddie Mercury has a little because on the drop we wish the other people lots of air time. And then, while getting my, on my photo taken, uh, I recited a part of my recent YouTube poop, link in the description. So we were on Lightning's side, right? But Thunder won! The previous two times I was on this, Lightning won. My record uh, win for this is only one in three. I, I guess they had 59 kids, the lowest price of the year. <laughs> but this means though, both times Derek rode lightning race either side, he lost. Uh, hey, my show got home. Oh. I was impressed by that ride. Right? I think purchase purchased and purchased at the Wild Mouse Fahrenheit or Preview Purchase. Wait, you have to. Uh, you can't just look at it anymore? Oh, stop. That's stupid. I want to see it. Yeah, I want to see it. Not going to buy it anyway, I guess. I just but wanna, I still! Just, I just want to see it. Now we got to walk all the way to walk. See it. I'm not going to put it on camera, I promise. This is illegal, you know. I just want to see it. That's all I want to do. Yeah. No single riders. Uh, we well, can't ride the Ferris wheel really, even if we wanted to. Uh, yep. Damn. What next? Look at that line for a comment though. When I said it's one of the most underrated coaches ever, that video must have worked. I, I think all, all these people watch the video and they know how good comment is. So, well, at least there sure are lines for Super Duper Looper for us or Great Bear or wherever we're going next. I'm not sure. Uh, we always go on swings rides, so that's where we're going to go next. So we're about to get on trail base. Hey, They're on bike train. And it was broken. They, but we they hung out right here. Station, and it took an open. Uh, where? Uh, so 
what was cool was that it opened as soon as they got here, and we were one of the first ones here. And soon the line's going to be like that. Okay, I'm oh, going to put this in here. Let me grab my phone right now. Okay. No, 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 no. Absolutely. No. No way. No exception. By the way, this is a flicker box. Good. I have the next best thing. A button pocket. A button pocket. A, a button pocket. Oh, okay. Yeah, but sometimes that gets faded. Yeah. We're going yeah, I have the Percy Park app. You should check that. Very smooth for being an older coaster. Yeah, so it was really started. We're so far in the back, I had no idea what was going on. And Baba's Express Chain noise. Oh, but you don't do that with this coaster because zero chain noise are the best noise ever. Oh, It's better with their uh, puzzle. Do like New Texas Giant make those windows here, but then it wouldn't look as cool. Yeah. You have to look cool. That should be the something for Triple J World. You have to be cool. Yeah. Triple J World. You have to be cool. <laughs> that sounds so early 2000s. Triple J World. You have to be cool. Yeah. Even though Triple J World didn't have that name until 2019. Let's see if the operator see us rowing the train. Push. Push! Back! Oh! Ah, uh, they didn't see. Nope. I'm stealing myself. Let's see if I'm automatic. And... It worked! Woohoo! The whole time! He was steaming out of the station with his long, heavy train, called the Flying Chicken Strips! What route is Henry taking tonight? Asked the driver. The coastal run, it's the quickest. But I told you, gasped the driver. That's dangerous for a big engine like Henry. The yardmaster quickly phoned the signalman. Henry roared past the signal box. I'll soon make up for lost time. And when he could, it was too late. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dang! That looks like quite intense. Like it's such a steep drop, and uh, you turn around, like you get you get a direct airtime and then straight into some. Lap. Uh, uh, slide water slide airtime makes me uncomfortable. Like, uh, I, I don't know. I mean, I mean, I guess you could like. Hit the yeah. The app said this would be 20 minutes, bro. Uh, we've been here not even five minutes, and we're already almost there. I think the app was overestimated. In that case, I'm, I might be willing to fit in Great Bear before lunch. We're gonna have lunch at a fry place. It looks really cool, and yeah. When we get past these people, I'll be able to see how much longer it is. But I'll see you momentarily. All right, we just got off cold crackler. Their logs are mine. My feet are wet. I wait. 
I thought this was moving, but it's actually that. We're standing still. Um, yeah. yeah, and it, the water is very bumpy. It's just as bumpy as Renegade Rapids, but in a thinner area. The operator is at the top of the hill said hi to us. And uh, my favorite part about was the drop. I'm not sure where it is. Oh, there it is. Like, like that. Right over there. My bag actually bounced up with that tiny uh, hump over there. I think my bag got more wet than I did. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's so crazy. But it, it was a, it's a pretty cool ride. The line was a lot shorter than expected, so let's tune in for more. So Derek and I just had lunch. I got a chili cheese dog with fries. I got a meatball sub. A meatball sub. A meatball sub. Yes. Uh, and now we're in the line for Great Bear. It's a dangling coaster, which means that you're sitting in a chair with your legs dangling. Dangle. It's a dangling coaster. 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 Dangle. With your legs dangling. Now you might be saying, uh, guys, you shouldn't go on roller coasters when you just ate. That's illegal, you know. Well. As you can see here, the line is a little bit long, but that's actually fine because by the time we get to the station, our food will be digested and we'll be yes. ready to go. So we thought, uh, yeah, that kills two birds with one stone. So let's just wait. By the time we get off, we'll also have to go take a dump. <laughs> take a dump. No one has ever said that before George Conn and that YTP. Uh, this one right here i'll put it in the video and credit to that person yeah so it should be fine i'll tell you how it goes After one and a third hours, we are finally done with Great Bear Hershey, but it's quite a long line, man. However, I feel like this year, I kind of focused on the ride more than last year. And also, we were at the front, so we went through each inversion more quickly. Uh, and yeah, it was a very good ride. Each inversion felt so forceful. There's so many positive genes. Yeah, our feet felt tingly afterwards just because of all the blood going to it. Yeah, yeah but ride. that took a big chunk of time. If I knew it would take this long, I wouldn't have yeah. tried it. Um, so. so we better be in our A game. We, uh, I still have yeah. three credits and one ride I want. We better go quickly, so yeah, see you later. What is up guys? So we just got off Candymonium at Hershey Park in Mike, Pennsylvania. Which is kind of weird because last time we rode it, we rode it in We're in that row, oh, although in the orange train. This is the red train. That, that reminds me, my manager at my pool wants me to buy him a bag of Twizzlers. So I'll be sure to do that. And this is my second ride on my second favorite coach of all time. So there are a couple things I would like to say. So we are in a different part of the train, so you get a different experience. Sort of. we, we went up and there was a lot of floater. I was always in the air a little bit, so stapled just as much as last day. I don't ever share the on my photos as much as I want to. So, uh, I didn't really have the blown away factor just because I already had expectations for this coaster, whereas last year I had, yeah. I expected a good ride, a great ride, but not a world-class ride, yeah, but now is, I think, uh, yeah. I, st I still think this ride is really, really good. I still think it's the best ride in the park, but you yeah. want to get the back. I think the back has yeah, the, the best, back, the it has floor. floater and ejector, and right over there, I, I was sure to do this now. I, uh, while going around the fountain, I looked at the fountain. That's one of the be yeah. most beautiful views one can get. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, like, and I really like I, the speed I, hill, yeah, as always. I definitely, I definitely like this one more in the, in the back. Yeah. Like, it's good that we try the front, though. Yeah. 
I still don't know which I like more, this or Twisted Timbers. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, it, de it depends on my mood. Do I want smooth, graceful airtime, or do I want that rough, violent, strong airtime? In my King's Domination video, I said that Twisted Timbers was better than Candemonium, but now I don't know, because Candemonium has like graceful air time, you know? And it's just sort of- They like serve completely line. different purposes. But, yeah, but Twisted Timbers is like in a, an aggressive ejector machine. I, I love them both, but I really don't know which one is better than the other. Twisted Timbers, I know, is very highly decorated. Candemonium, you don't need to decorate. It. It's- the coaster itself is a series. Like, look yeah, at that. Really. It, it's- it's beautiful. It, it's eye candy, if you will. And the funniest part about our ride um, is when we're on the bricks. We noticed we were getting stacked a lot. It took us like five minutes to go from there to the station. So uh, we made a reference to white to be train killers, and we said, "I have nothing to say. I'm going to sleep." Put our heads Wait, down we need to get our stuff. Remember? Right. Yes. All right. So we're going to do that. And uh, Storm Runner has had a very long grind line recently according to the app yeah. so i'm not sure if we can do it this year uh, at least they got up and running for many more years to come yeah. we'll definitely do super duper looper at six legs magic motion we have to it was supposed to be my first looping coaster which we substituted with great yeah Ray. well you do with what you can where you are so Derek and I are finally going to ride Super Duper Looper at Six Flags Magic Mountain. Revolution, now new revolution at Six Flags Magic Mountain. Super Duper Looper at Six Flags Magic Mountain. At Six Flags Magic Mountain. At Six Flags Magic Mountain. And big bonus, this is my 66th coaster credit. This is my 25th. Oh, and Derek's 25th. That's amazing. My We are getting there. And if you don't know why 66 is important, let me show you. The ride is located at the Altrum Towers, which makes it the tallest ride in the establishment, standing at 66 FT. 66 FT, we're gonna put this down now. Alright, so we just got a super duper looper at six flags that's <laughs> You have me to thank for that. Yes. Yeah. Can you shoot up? Okay, so yeah. there are several cool so things about this ride. This be my first looping coaster but it was closed last year when we went so we substitute so I don't forget we have stuff yeah i substitute with great Bear instead so but i gotta say like if if this is your first looping coaster then good on you this is a good starter i i the loop was it was pretty intense to be honest like yeah the valley out of it was surprisingly like it, it like pushed you into your seat you know uh yeah, I always wondered what a loop would feel like with a lap bar. It, it's fine. It, it's definitely not that intense. I prefer yeah. Great Bear, but Super Duper yes. Looper is not supposed great, great, to be an older Great Bear. Great uh, it's a very scenic ride. Beautiful views that you wouldn't get yeah, otherwise. You go through a tunnel too. Yeah. Security time? guard wave to me. That's nice. Yeah. I'm glad he doesn't mind I, being I in the video. I definitely prefer Great Bear. As like a, a whole ride. Yeah, but, but at least Super, Super Duper, Duper Looper, Looper is a meme coaster now for yeah. us. But it's, it's, a, it's a fun little ride, you know? It's very fun and you get very good views of other rides and, and the were, forest and, and the were, river that were, you wouldn't get otherwise. Yeah, it's real nice. Uh, something else that was going on was that like there were little kids in the station and I think like the adult person that is it was their first time like either on a coaster or on a coaster that goes upside down. Yeah, it's a very special coaster for many people, I which think, is fantastic. I think for kids especially, that ride is uh, yeah. pretty tame. I would say this coaster is a very good warm-up for some yes. other attractions. Yes, I agree. Uh, if you just want to relax a yeah. bit with one loop or you're not ready for the bigger rides, uh, try Super Duper Blooper. And also, uh, when we, we were under the sky rush lift till end, 
yeah. it, that just looks monstrous on, on from final, just a few brick feet up. One, you are directly under Skyrush, and it just looks so huge. Like being yeah. here on the midway, it already looks pretty tall. But just being like completely. It's a, a sensation I can't replicate with this position. Yeah. Especially, so, especially not with the phone. The phone doesn't do it justice. Nope. Because you actually you have to see, come to her like Park. a thing, you know. Yeah. And by the way, Skyrush is broken down because it doesn't have its catch. The car. little kids got their revenge. Yeah, the little kids got their revenge. If you don't know what I'm talking about, here you go. Skyrush is so scary it should only be ridden by the bigger kids. This gravity-defying roller coaster focuses on huge hills, gives the feeling like you are going to be thrown off. And resembles a roller coaster version of the mechanical bull. Skyrush is so big that it should only be ridden by the bigger kids. There you go. Yeah, we said many times, but not for the video. And there's a building uh, on this break run over here. Some, yeah. somewhere over here, there are tons of wristbands and this, and lighters. Like that roof is definitely here. Like, just but like from that. here, do they toss it? We saw many uh, hair bands, some wristbands, two lighters, and a few masks. Yeah. Why? I've that was no weird. Idea. But yeah, it's a very nice coaster. And while they were checking the strange phone, the operators asked if I was a YouTuber because she noticed that I was talking to the camera and she promised to subscribe to this camera so so to that operator at super duper looper if you're watching this thank you for becoming a james yes. schooner also for me subscribe to me i'm derek ano on youtube d-e-r-e-k-a-n-o there you go yes um like yeah this is a very good 66 credit i must say our next goal is 69 So we just bought a couple of things at their store. Uh, I got two nano coasters and a candy bar. Derek got uh, a nano coaster and a hat. Oh, uh, where? Oh, jeans, right, right there. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's a John in, no. Where, where's Derek? Right here. Wait. It literally said John. Oh my god. Hershey Park knows that my real name is John. Uh, I'm speechless. Oh my goodness. This is goodness. Yes, my real name is John. But don't call me that or you'll be sorry. So. Or you, or you will get slapped in the face. How hard? You don't want to know. So, we went to the store and uh, Dirk. You have something very important to show everyone. So first off, I got this nano coaster. Yeah. He got one too. He also got one. They're really good at merch, I've noticed. Yeah, he got one apparently. But something else that I like is this hat right here. It says Canemonium on it. Yeah. And you know and what's great about my hat? Canemonium. Twisted Timbers. And Twisted I'm Timbers. Twisted Timbers. And he's wearing Canemonium. We are complete opposites now. We are complete opposites. Oh my it's god. Twisted Timbers like Candemonia are now uh, what black and white were for Unus Honest. Yes. Th th this is amazing. Speaking we want Derek to have which, a Candemonia hat for a long speaking time. Speaking of which, the socks. Oh, oh my god. So, this isn't our outro video because we're going to go to Chocolate World to see how chocolate is made. Then I will give my overall thoughts on the day. Oh my god, it smells so good here. Is to make sure all the are this is the greatest standards. chocolate factory ever. Once it passes testing, we mix sugar into the milk using long milk factory. factory tanks. Huh. Dang, look at this. There are millions of them. Totally. Oh, that looks so delicious. It's not sweetened though. So it's not delicious. It doesn't taste delicious, but it looks so delicious. Are they packaged now? I like to think they're mini trains. That's so cute. I want this for Christmas. 
Oh, it's being packaged. This is so awesome. Oh my god, it's the syrup. It's being filled. What? Hey guys, want a kiss? Well, I got plenty of them over here. <laughs> and, wow. Well, oh my god. I'm so glad we came here. So we're on our way out of Chocolate World. My piece of chocolate, um, it could have been fresh, uh, or I could have just not be used to Percy's chocolate since I don't have the standard chocolate much. But it was better tasting than usual. I loved it. Oh my god. You probably don't want to wait through that again. Uh, Derek really wants Jolly Ranchers. But on the way to paper, there were Jolly Ranchers lip balm, zero sugar, and gummies. No hard candy in the waiting line. That's BS. Yeah. And they could have had your money if they just rearranged this a certain way. Yeah. But at least you save that much. Yeah. You're, you could probably That's get good. that much at like Safeway for much less. Because this is a park, you know. Uh, yeah. The line was long, but they have 17 cash registers, so it's fine. I got Reese's peanut butter. Um I got peanut butter cups and Twizzlers. My manager at the pool I work at actually wants Twizzlers. He's going to pay me back. Wait, um... Jolly Ranchers lip balm. Wait, this was... Jolly Ranchers zero sugar and Jolly Ranchers... Wait, this is exit only. Derek, it said exit only, but in the morning we came from this way. Oh, no! This is illegal, you know. Hey, it's not illegal if you don't get caught. You're right. We have a plane to catch in an hour and a half, so, yeah, uh, so we, better, we be better bounce. But it wouldn't waste any more time to talk. So, yeah, what I did wanted, I think of I today? Ranchers, but I could get them. Yeah, today was... Uh, yeah, I have so many bags with me, I hope. I think it will be okay, though. Today was good. Yeah, I would say today was a very productive day. It was slightly longer than last year's yeah. trip. And I saved a lot of energy by getting plane like tickets from Westport to Harrisburg. We went, we went to Chocolate World. Yeah, very fine place. Uh, it, it was big. Like, if you want great. candy, there's no... Like, if you've never been to Chocolate World, what are you doing with your life? I mean, coasters are great. Uh, it, it's such a fine place. This, yeah, this place looks real nice in the evening. It does. Because we got the lights over there. Blue yeah. Red lights supports as much as i personally enjoyed the day there were a few problems like the yeah. lines the line the number one problem was the lines were really really long for a monday like for a monday. monday it says monday yeah like a great bear was uh in the top 10 uh lines look the, this like the impenetrable gate oh, no. How uh gonna that's just get past like, I have no idea. How did we ever get past this? I have no idea. Great Bear had yes. it definitely in the top ten lines I've ever yeah, oh, waited. Like, Maybe even top six or five. Like and we got very tired during it. Long. So we had to sit down for a bit. Um Canyon Money is good. Great Bear was uh better than last year. I would say my favorite ride was Probably Candemonium. I also got two new credits. Derek yeah. got three more, I believe. Yes. Oh, this is where you pick up the bus. Well, the bus picks you up. This is where you pick up the bus. We don't need the bus. Yeah. I think I enjoy today. We didn't get as much done as we wanted, but uh, I did get to ride Wild Mouse and Lightning Racer Lightning for the first time since my yeah. second visit here in 2014. Uh, those are fine rides. And we both rode Super Duper Looper at, at Six, Six Flags, Flags Magic Mountain. Mountain. For the first time. Oh yes, plenty of memes too. Yes, all the memes. All the memes. Yeah, I would say uh, last year's trip was slightly better. Yeah, Slightly better. Slightly. 
one this, good thing about this visit. definitely wasn't bad either, you know? Absolutely. I, I would definitely enjoy this over work any yes. day of the week. And we were absolutely killing it with the uh, off rides. We both took lots of off rides. All off. Stupid bus. Stupid bus. Rower. Come on, if you want to go rower, go to the Susquehanna. This isn't where you go rowing, this is where you eat chocolate. This is where you get run by the Yes. Bus. So, Derek and I, we've been talking long enough. So, we're going to go to Hubug Intel Airport. Uh, and then we're <laughs> going to fly back. Uh, we should hopefully get back to England by midnight. So, uh, I guess we'll get going. But first, yeah. thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Post your comments below and your thoughts on this video. And do me a favor and be sure to give this video a big old thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, be sure to subscribe. A shout out goes to all the people whose photos were shown in this video. If you'd like to see one of your photos in one of my videos, check out our link in the description for further instructions. If you'd like to go more in depth with Triple J755, like my Facebook page for interactive discussions and behind the scenes footage. You can also follow me on Twitter. Until next time, Coaster fans, until next time.